Grade here with a Churchill 3 replay on Enst. Like I said previously, I love brawling with this tank. Uh, so I'm going to actually head over to the town. Going to leave the field to the mediums. And see what we can do. Let's not hit that train car. We've got a uh, tier 5 matchup. Pretty decent match, but uh, if we look at KVM, there's that 37% scary. Ooh. Uh, I bet you some people would quit on that, but like I said, I, I ignore that. I play each round to see what happens. Now, the enemy team's already got a, uh, a tank. Pretty soon they're going to have two in the capture point. I'm not sure why they're going this early. Um, you're just begging to be killed because the whole enemy team knows where you are. Um, and you got three minutes. Yeah, not happening. So I'm just taking my sweet old time to get into position. I like fighting in this area in between all these buildings. I guess we didn't get a second enemy out there, but uh, looks like we've cleared... Nope, they're back up. There we go. Cleared the enemy out. And a second one decides to get on the cap, and uh, he's taken out in short order. My team even up the score. And surprisingly, there are absolutely no tanks over here. Oop, until I round the corner and run into my... My mirror, the enemy team, that Churchill 3. I get one shot into him in that engagement, and uh, he puts one into my tracks. Here I'm coming out slowly. I'm not sure if he's waiting for me, but then I see that he's over, uh, over on the side by the M4, so I push forward. And here I'm waiting for him to come forward, uh, but I'm not sure what he's doing until I see him actually shooting, I think, at my PZ-3. Yep, there he goes. So I move forward to get a uh, side shot on him. Hopefully I can get him to look at me. And I expose myself to an M4. Who it hits? I'm not sure. I think my tracks ate it, maybe. And unlike the last Churchill 3 replay, I'm not messing around with that M4 this time. So now I'm chasing that Churchill 3. Get a nice shot into his rear drive wheel there. And instead of following where he was, I cut around here so I can get a shot on him. First thing I do, whoop, second thing I do is take out that rear drive wheel. Locking him down and along with my, uh, what is that, a PZ-3-4? Yeah, securing the kill. Now our field has fallen, and we need to head back north to get in, in between the enemy and uh, the cap point. Now this T1 Heavy, I'm not sure what he was doing this entire match. It looked like he was following people around like a lost puppy. You notice as soon as I run past him, he just starts following me. Maybe it's uh, some kind of bot? I'm not sure. Now, we're not spotting anything yet. So I'm basically taking the same route back. I don't want to exit these buildings. And there we've got eyes on the KV-1. And it gets spotted. I'm not sure by what. The KV-1 goes down to that PZ-3-4. And then I notice the SU-85 spots me again, and that's when I see the broken wall there. So obviously I'm not going to push through and give him a free hit on me. I'm going to wait until he can no longer see me, which me not being able to see him is a good indication of that. 
and I'm actually going to bank it uh, back out and come from a different angle. And that's where we spot the Hetzer. Ooh, take a bad hit there. But I take him out and back out to repair my driver. Oh, the gunner, actually. Now, the Matilda Black Prince comes around the corner. And uh, as much as I love my Matilda, I'm not sure if I want a Black Prince. It just doesn't seem like a good uh, a good match after the Matilda. I think I'd, I'd be disappointed by it. Here you can see I'm just using my knowledge of the Matilda to hit him in the face, hit him in the uh, the basically the driver's area, I'm pretty much punching through his armor whenever I want. Now I moved forward because I saw the Su-85 had actually abandoned him and went around the corner. Here, I don't know if he's lagging or disconnected, but basically he's letting us kill him. And so all that leaves is that SU-85. And here, that uh, T-1 Heavy provides useful, as uh, he provides fodder for the uh, SU-85. And that's the final kill of the round. Right around 1,600 damage uh, for a... A round that KVM said was going to be a 36% chance to win. That was actually a pretty decent outing. Uh, as always, I'll have a link to the stats page down below, and have fun.